three, two, one, and hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Unite with me, Ninjas96. Um, you remember in the last episode, or the one before that, where I had a croaky voice, and I was I was saying that I needed a drink. Um, well, I've lost my sense of taste. <laughs> so um, yeah, I had a, a glob full of um, what would it have been chili sauce. Absolutely nothing. Um, I'm, I'm doubly vaccinated, so I'm not personally worried. Um, but I have been sick, and uh, I've taken a bunch of tests. They've been negative, but it is what it is. So in today's video, we're going to be having a bit of a chill out. I've forgotten which Pokemon we've already used, but I unlocked Cinderace today. So we're going to do a Cinderace episode. Yay! Um... What are you trying to tell me? Oh, sweet. Uh, Cinderace is an attacker. That is about all I know about it. Um, I've seen it pop up a lot, actually, in in games. So hopefully, it will be a, a strong mon. Uh, my preference for attackers is uh, usually Alolan Ninetales, but you know we can accept. Oh. I would like to be Cinderace, please. Oh, there's a Cramorant. Oh. Yeah, watch everyone go attack. Yep. I mean, it's fine. We can we can win without a defender, right? <laughs> um, let's have a, a quick look. Oh, I'm not going to be able to change that in time. Oh, they don't have a defender. Oh, no, they do. They have Snorlax. Yeah, their team's quite balanced. Ours is very front heavy. But that's fine, that's fine. We're good. We are GTG. Um What else? What else? What else? I've played some uh, some matches with Fenton as well, off camera, obviously, because otherwise you'd have seen it. Um and that was good fun. But we did find that generally, unless you pick the defender, no one else will. Which is a shame. But Yeah, this is fine. I like playing slow, bro. But for for episodes like these where I'm trying to focus on a Pokemon, it's not great. Uh, so we've got Ember and Low Sweep. I'm going to go Ember first. I'm going to take the bottom rung alongside this Charmander. Very fire type focus. Hopefully, we fight some Bulbasaur's. Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur I. Bulb Bulbasis. <laughs> How, how, let me know in the comments below how you would prefer to pluralise Bulbasaur. Um, boring answers are banned. Uh, if you give the correct answer, you are also banned. Um, but remember to like and comment and subscribe. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. I've been taking quite a lot of paracetamol the last few days. Um... Which is what I'm going to attribute my slightly mental mind state to. Also, sleeping has not been great. As I'm sure you can imagine. Um, so, you know, hats off to anyone who's legit caught COVID. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know. But um, yeah, if you've caught it, experienced it, dealt with it, uh, unvaccinated particularly, then uh, yeah. I, I doff my cap to you because it's genuinely not pleasant but <laughs> I have been making the most of it by experimenting with weird foods that I wouldn't normally be able to eat um, and, and don't worry I'm isolating and being safe and cautious don't you worry child um, yeah I've been, I've been like eating chunks of chilli and I actually noticed originally because I had I made this sort of uh, honey mustard casserole uh, and I had it for lunch and essentially I put way too many peppers in like sweet peppers and I don't generally like them but I thought well I want to use up the packet I don't want to waste it um, and it's it's some more vegetables and I ate it for lunch and I thought oh there's too many peppers in there that wasn't a good idea. And then I had the same thing again for dinner, and I was like, I can't taste anything. 
Uh, yeah, I ate the exact same thing and zero recollection of what it should taste like. It just tasted like water. And um, we're about to lose a lot of points here. What are you guys doing? How do I... Charmeleon, you seem to be doing nothing. Oh, Nine Tails, you're killing a Buffalant. Which is, I mean, fine, but we're losing points. I need backup. Like now, please. Um, yeah, and I, I had a pack of bourbons as well, which I thought, well, I've tried some nasty things. I might as well try something nice and nothing. It was so bizarre not being able to taste them at all. Because it's a little bit different when you've got just a normal cold. It is a little bit different because you can still sort of, you can still taste stuff. It's just muted. Whereas this, it was, I could have been eating any, I could have been eating a dog biscuit and... I wouldn't I wouldn't know <laughs> in fact maybe it was maybe I opened a pack of bourbon dog biscuits by mistake um so yeah back to the back to the game uh, I just unlocked pyro ball which seems to be just a straight line kick thing which is kind of cool I guess Uh, my other option, I didn't. I don't remember what my other option was, to be quite frankly honest. But Pyro Ball is Cinderace's signature, so I'm assuming that's the right way to go. Cinderace, of course, being one of three Galar reps in this game, um, which is which is nice. I'm I'm glad that there's some flame charge, some. Um, variety, even though it's mostly Kanto still. Ooh, help me. Um, but I dislike the Galar starters. I think they're all fine if, particularly Rillaboom and Inteleon. I think if they were not starter Pokemon, I'd have been okay with them. But these three being starters, they're just really like meh. Okay, fine. You're you're a rabbit. You play football, grand. Uh, but Cinderace is pretty good, and Rillaboom, in fact, are both pretty competitive Pokemon. So I can get behind that. My um my rules for liking a Pokemon. Gather here. No, shut up. Uh, my rules for liking a Pokemon is it has to either look cool, or be useful in game. Or have some niche characteristic that makes it acceptable. Um, so a lot of the Alola Pokemon, um, Mudsdale, for example. Um, I'm not overly keen on its design. It's just a horse to me, um, and its uh, battle prowess is like meh, meh. I guess it's fine. Um, but where it actually shines for me, at least, is the fact that it has the stamina ability, which is really cool and interesting, and you can actually do a lot of cool things with it, particularly in, in double battles. Um, so that, that justifies it to me as a Pokemon. However, something like... Hmm. In fact, we'll go Cinderace. So Cinderace is a fire type. It has Pyro Ball, but signature moves to me unless they're very signature they don't really count because eventually every pokemon any pokemon could learn pyro ball um it's stats nothing about it is particularly interesting its hidden ability is libero and what that means is that its type changes depending on the move it uses so it always gets the same type attack bonus that's great, thumbs up, but Greninja's already done that. And if Greninja was in the game, I think Greninja would be better because it has a slightly better move pool to use the um, Protean, I think. I mean, I'm not an expert, uh, but I think it would be better. It's faster. 
It has better base typing. And it just looks cooler. I mean, it's, it's a frog. It's a ninja frog. You can't say no to that. Uh, what was my point? <laughs> oh yeah, so that, that's why I think Cinderace is... And all of the starters, all of the starters are really bland. Rillaboom at least gets the terrain setting. And it's a decent Pokemon generally. But even then it's like, yeah, whatever. Any Pokemon could have got that terrain setting ability. You could have given it to Eldegoss, for example. And Eldegoss would have been competitively viable, you know? So I think what I'm trying to say is that I know better than anyone else about what makes a good Pokemon. And I'm going to chase this Charizard down and hit it with my Unite move. Yeah! Oh yeah, get absolutely melted. Yeah. All right, let's go, team. Where, where are you two going? Oh, you're going to kill the Zapdos. I mean, that's fine, but we got points to score over here. Boom! And Flame Charge Plus. Cool. I think I stole the winning kill on that. Um, I've spoken quite a lot with uh, Fenton about this game and how I think, or we think, the, the important bit of it is knowing when you should and shouldn't be engaging or pushing or... I think it's very easy to just go for it and oh, I want it to be MVP. Um, yeah, it's very easy to not understand when you should be pushing your advantage or when you need to retreat and that sort of thing. Cool. Um, and perhaps expectedly, it is quite reliant on your team not being terrible. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's been many a match that we've lost or I've lost on the back of a single teammate not playing or not knowing what to do or and not in a you know this is my first game I'm learning the ropes kind of way in a you should know better kind of way I just had to have a swig of beverage. Um, also, this matchmaking system is garbage. What was that I leveled up? Oh, it was a shell bell. Yeah. Um, blaze kick was a sure hit. That's interesting. We've always critical hit. Shoves them and burns them. Um, let's try Blaze Kick this time and faint. Yeah, no, thank you. Now we have a balanced team as well. Um, so yeah, I think I mentioned I'm due to unlock Crustle at some point in the very near future. So we've got a Crustle episode coming up, and then failing that. One of the next three episodes may well be the three temporary guys. Uh, Wigglytuff. I think it might actually just be Wigglytuff, Lucario. Oh, and Gengar. Yeah, they're the three temporary ones that I have access to. So we'll give them a go. Why not? I've actually played some Lucario, and he's interesting. I think you need to know how to use it to make to make good on it. I'm actually going to do low sweep this time, see what happens. Oh, it's me and the two big guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, we also had the conversation 
Uh, and realistically, I should save this for the Lucario episode, but I don't know how long the way that's going to be. Lucario is the only Pokemon that should start as a baby and doesn't, correct? No. Pichu. Because you start with Pikachu, not Pichu. And you start with... Um, Snorlax instead of Munchlax. And I think that's really weird, because Riolu is not a baby Pokemon. But it's kind of treated as one. But it's just, it's just not. It's just not. So, um, yeah, Fenton pointed out that that might be why they've gone with this weird quirk for Lucario. But honestly, I, I don't see any good reason for it not to start as a Rio loose. I think it's just bizarre. You can st you can still have it be balanced, you know. I don't think this Bobsaw knows what they're doing. Yeah. Similarly with Pikachu, I know they have they almost have to have Pikachu as your like what you end up with, because it's Pikachu. But they could have done Pichu and Raichu. Why do we keep leaving one completely unattended? Because, yeah, surprise, surprise, now I need defense over here. I'm a Raboot! I do actually get behind Raboot. I like him. I like the sort of... Uh, it really heavily leans into the moody teenager look without it being really forced, in my opinion. Whereas uh, Drizzile and... Th oh, Thwacky is a monster. I can't stand Thwacky. Um, actually, here's here's one. Let me know in the comments below how interested are you to find out some of my Pokemon preferences, other than the ones we all know, like Grin. Uh, well, I mean Greninja's great too, but Gudra being the best Pokemon ever created. Let me know, because I could quite comfortably do some videos on that. I don't think it would take too much effort either. <laughs> this is the main thing. Um, I could just do a big old tier list, starting with Kanto, working my way down. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be against it, so let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing or not. We're going to try Blaze Kick. Blah! Oh, I reckon they're attacking Dreadnought. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, no, they're not. There he is. How are they doing so badly up there? And yet I'm basically uncontested down here. Oh, he says, charge away. Hey, slow bro, how's it going? So it looks like this Blaze Kick only hits the front Pokemon, which makes sense. So you can't use it as like an AoE thing. Ow! Slow bro, there's a Lucario right there. Thank you. I think Slow is going to lose that. Why don't I have a ball? Oh, because I didn't learn Pyro Ball. Haha, <laughs> that's interesting. So where's Lucario? Oh, he's gonna score. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Alright, Slowbro, can you help me score, please? How 
did I die? No. Oh, I've just been invited to a um, a Pokemon Go raid. This match is not going to last too much longer, so we're okay. We're okay on that front. I still have 25 points to score. One of your gold zones is destroyed. Guys, what are you doing up there? Ooh, that was close. Vice kick plus. Kya! Let's just leave. I'm going to die to this. Please, someone help. Pay enough attention. <laughs> Pyro Ball! Venusaur, what are you doing? Actually, if this if they manage to score that rotten then uh, it'll be easier for me to score down here as well, won't it? But it looks like it's going to get stopped. Go, 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 go. Why did that Venusaur not try and stop me? score of its own. Well, that's a big mistake. Sorry. We can get this Zapdos, I'm sure. Play charge plus. Charge! And kick! I didn't really mean you, but sure, let's kill you first. And charge! And kick! And someone come and help me now, please! Ooh. Can't afford not to score this. No! Oh no! Team! What's going on? Slowbro's got 45 points. Oh, there's a Charizard down there. Slowbro, what are you doing? I mean, actually, no. Good point. Score that. Why aren't you using your attack, Slowbro? Ugh. Stop it! Bad Charizard. Right now, run, 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 run. Ah, I'm not going to get there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, so Cinderace is fine. Not as good as Alone in Nine Tails, I don't think. Oh, we won! Yeah! Uh, yeah, not as good as a Lonely Nine Tales, in my less than humble opinion. But, hey ho.
thank you everyone for watching today's episode of Pokemon Unite. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike. But let me know in the comments why you disliked it as well. That would be friendly of you. Um, but either way, like it. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you want to see some more Pokemon, more games, more anything. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.